Hey everyone, Carolyn Herforth here. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about me. Oh no, I'm kidding. We've all heard that joke. Oh, enough about me. Let's talk about you. What do you think about me? Okay, so I ran into exactly that situation at a coffee shop last week and I was really, it's been a long time since I've had this happen, but someone walked in who I had just been asking a mutual friend about or a mutual acquaintance about anyway, um, a few days earlier. So when she walked in, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great. Um, I'm excited to see her. So I said, hey, what are you up to these days? And she, she told me what she was doing and then she kept going on and on and on. And I probably listened to her for several minutes. I'd say three, conservatively, three. And uh, I had many thoughts going through my head as she was talking because I started glazing over after a while. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that she's still talking. And why is she telling me all these details? I'm a little confused here. So anyway, finally she said, so, you know, what's up with you these days? And I said, well, I decided to close my, my seven year business last year in pursuit of something more enriching and fulfilling and a new challenge and something that's more on purpose for me. And that's about all I got out. I couldn't even tell her what I had cooking. And she said, oh yes, I know what you mean. And I ran into that and that's why I'm doing this. And then she yammered on for a little bit longer. Now, don't get me wrong, I think she's a really nice person. I just was really, really surprised that it came from her. But I know we've all run into those people before who spend you know, 80% of the time talking about themselves and if they even think to ask you about you, it goes back to them. And so it was just a good reminder for me to, and something I wanted to talk about here, just to say, you know what, don't be that bore. I would much rather be the 20% person and, and having to listen to someone 80% of the time than be that 80% person yammering on and on and on and having the other person think, oh my gosh, she's such a bore as she talk about anything but herself. So just a little reminder, folks, to be conscientious, be, as my friend Suzanne says, be interested, not interesting. So that's what I've got for you today. I'd love to hear any stories you have, good, bad, or otherwise, about your experience with the 80-20 rule, whether you happen to be the 80 or the 20, and uh, share it in the forum. So I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.